Campbell, April 28, 1951. Essence and Personality. In order to make the work internal so that it begins to work in you, it is necessary to think about one or another of the great ideas of the work. As you notice, we are always speaking of this on one occasion or another. Understanding is the most powerful force that we can make in ourselves. But if you simply hear the work ideas and do not try to understand them, no inner connections can be made between yourself as your entire centers. People say, what do I have to do in order to work on myself? Now, one of the fundamental ideas of this work is that a reversal has to take place in us and this idea is formulated in some such words as that we are self-developing organisms and we are down here on this planet in order to produce this final development in ourselves because it is quite obvious that if a self-developing organism were created perfect it would not be a self-developing organism. Sometimes I wonder if some of you have understood this yet. We are all down here to develop something in us which life does not develop. Here you are tangled up with the world and its affairs and perhaps with success, but this does not belong to the teaching of the work about self-development. Life develops the personality, but not essence. The part of a man that can grow, in the work sense, is the essence. Life develops the personality, and the rich of the personality, the more you can do in life, the better, only it does not make something in you grow, with which esotericism is concerned. We are born with essence and then we acquire personality. Personality then, becomes active and essence ceases to grow. Although many of you have heard this many times before I wonder whether you have reflected on it and its meaning. Here you have a man who has attained high rank in life, yet he is dead in himself. Why is he dead in himself? Everything is external nothing internal. All his development has been external and there has been no internal development which is the thing about which the work speaks. And I assure you that all esoteric teaching always talks about this inner development. In terms of the work, essence has not developed. You may have the richest personality, but no development of essence. In other words, you may be the most important man in life and yet deaf from the work point of view. Why? Because essence is what is really you, what you were born with, and if that is not developed, whatever you may be in life does not compensate for lack of growth of your essence in you. You have remained with personality active and essence passive, or even so remote that in the work sense it is said that you are dead. Dead in what way? Dead inside yourself. Nothing is really changed inside you by your life. Now the secret of this work is that essence can only grow through becoming more and more conscious of personality and slowly and gradually seeing what personality is in you. Therefore the work teaches that we must observe personality, become more conscious of it, because if you are not conscious of anything in yourself you cannot separate from it. One special thing we have to start with in Zulf observation is to try to observe false personality, which is never you. Now when you observe yourself, which is one of the fundamental